All right, connecting your receiver to your Juno handheld. Go ahead and make sure that your device has adequate power source and hit the power button. All right, while that's booting up, we'll head back to our handheld. We'll go ahead and hit our home option. We'll hit our GPS option. We'll hit connect. We want to connect to a rover. So we're going to select that option. We want it to be Bluetooth. Oops. So we'll select the Bluetooth option. And we're going to scan for device. Oops. Okay. You want to make sure that the last four digits of the serial number match your device's ID which can be found underneath your receiver. So this one matches. Oops. So we'll select it. It's especially important to do this step if there are other devices in the area, such as a base station or other foreman and or superintendent vehicles that are equipped with GPS. You don't want to accidentally connect to one of their receivers or a base station. All right, we're gonna be using the radio in receiver, which is this option right here. All right, you wanna select your network ID, which can be found on the front of your base station screen. By tapping the power button one time on your base station, it will tell you what the network ID is for your site. If not, contact the person that manages your base stations. He, will, he or she will have the proper ID network for you to connect to. Uh, for this job, it's channel 14. Um, the scrolls can be kind of difficult to use at times. You just have to make sure to have equal pressure on the scrolls if you have to go through this. Um, it takes some time getting used to, but that's pretty much how you navigate it. Just hold down on it and slide. All right. When you found the desired channel you want, click on it, and it will start to connect. All right. This base station actually has a name that we've assigned it. So some jobs could have multiple base stations. As for this one, it only has one and it's labeled base 10. And we've connected to it successfully. Uh, in this case, we're not using a quick release. And our antenna height for the truck is 5.54. Typically, your standard default is 6.562. All right, so all of our parameters are correct. So we're gonna hit accept. And now we're successfully connected to our base station and we have good corrections.